What's going on guys? Mitch here. Today we're taking a look at this. This is a Rafa uh, Rainproof Essentials case. Now I have been searching for something in this kind of uh, style just to house a few things in the back of my jersey pocket and more than anything uh, hold some things that uh, tend to... Uh, I, I just don't want to lose them while I'm riding. So anyway, I'm going to do a quick overview of this. I have the uh, large and the extra large I believe or is it large and standard? Uh, I think it's standard and large. This one is the large. So let's go into this and uh, take a look. It comes in this nice frosted bag as is normal. So we can get rid of that and stop making uh, a ton of sound. So one thing I do like, they do, uh, you know, it's everything super reusable, super whatever, um, you know, eco-friendly. So it came in a nice recyclable envelope, which is a nice little touch. And then this particular one looks like, uh, let's take off this and I will show what is on the card here. Hopefully I'm not making it too big of a mess, but there you go. Rainproof, essentials case, large, black, triple uh, X, which is uh, obviously my favorite movie. And then uh, Rafa, there's the little guy in the rain hanging out, hopefully with a, a bag in his pocket. And then the bag itself. Let's take a look, open this guy up. Now, they are saying it's a rainproof case. Um, I will always test that, but based on the fact that all the seams here, if we're looking, it looks pretty sealed up, honestly. You see all the, uh, the zippers kind of nice and watertight, evidently. Uh, what do we got in here? Hopefully an iPhone, but it's not. Just, uh, nothing. Uh, Anti-mold chip, I don't know how important that really is in today's day and age and this stuff, but, uh, you know, always useful. Silica gel, that's whatever. Okay. All right, well, there's the bag. And uh, let's take a look inside. I wish, first of all, right off the hop, I kind of wish I had a full zip. I don't know why it's not a full zip. Um, so I'm gonna move this around. Bon Courage, uh, which whatever, I'm sure that means great encouragement or something. Um, it looks pretty standard on the inside. I do dig this right here. Uh, and I didn't know they actually had this internal zipper. So that would be a great spot to put my keys and a $20 bill. Uh, if I want to get a coffee or something, it's always nice to have cash. Uh, conversely, I have seen guys use these cases for uh, their entire storage. So, so they kind of get rid of their uh, seat bag, which I currently use, and they're able to house like a tube, a uh, bunch of stuff in here, CO2, maybe a multi-tool. I don't know if I'm gonna go that far, but uh, let's just see. So I have two phones kicking around here. One is an iPhone 8, and the other is an iPhone 14 Pro. And let's see, the 14 Pro, I imagine, will fit in here, no questions asked. That, uh, that fits without a problem, which is good for storage. Obviously, the 8 will fit, no problem, and probably inside this little divider, which is nice. How does this compare with the size, the regular size? I don't know. Uh, I will have to unbox that one at some point and take a look, but for the time being, there is your storage size compared to a greasy iPhone 14 and uh, it'll fit that no problem. So I think that's pretty sweet. I think, uh, I think you know, it's not stretchy on the bottom. I kind of wish the bottom here was a little stretchy just to kind of expand a little bit. And I kind of wish that the zipper was a full zip. I'm still kind of confused why they do that, but I'm sure there's a reason for it. Uh, internal zipper is awesome. And uh, hopefully I'm not left stranded on the side of the trail or sorry, on the side of the road, and uh, with a losing my keys, money, or cell phone, which is kind of the main purpose of this guy. I'm gonna be throwing in some hydration tabs, a house key, $20 bill, and uh, probably a GoPro battery or two, and maybe even a folding knife. Okay, so that would be it for the size large, and what I'll do, just because I'm sure people are curious, I have the size regular, right beside me and I will do a quick comparison before I unbox this there is the regular so in terms of fitting a phone I think it would be right on the edge of an iPhone 14 there you go 
All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by and checking this guy out. If you have any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And until next time, we will bon courage slash talk to you later. Peace.